Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Retro Gaming with Hopper and as always thank you for watching. Today we're going to start working on this back glass. I had some feelers out and they're still out and I cannot find a back glass for this unless I go with a new. And I already have enough in this machine I don't really don't want to put in uh, another three or four hundred dollars for a back glass. So I'm gonna we're gonna start attempting to touch this play this playing field <laughs> play this back glass up you can see the the scorpion he's in really good shape we have a just a scratch through here and a little one here which down there's a little bit up in here but I think with just a little bit of green in there we could kind of make that all blend in uh, there's a lot of different colors on this back glass so it's going to be a lot of mixing uh, we'll start with some basic ones you know we have like some brown missing browns pretty easy we can do the brown or some brown there over in here and there and all up and through here there's some brown uh, the blue, there's some blue down in here missing, green missing. This is all blue. Some down in here and up in there. We can get most of that all done. Uh, the black, black is, you know, really easy. And our scorpion, we have red missing right in our scorpion. And this is a little darker red up in here kind of a maroon now here's where it's really going to get tricky we have our high score and everything around it is missing and all along the bottom here too this is you know our, our game over is in there uh, I can't even read what that one is or this one our players are fine and thank God we don't have balls to play those are up here in our scoreboard along with the match is up there in the scoreboard so we're good there but then we have a lot of this maroon that has been really missing I mean this is going to be the worst one I've ever done we got a lightning bolt through here with maroon and blue and black yeah, not so much black well there's a little bit of looks like dark blue outline on it which is alright because we'll do our blue dark blue and then we can do our outlines here around the scores like I said that that'll be easy to we can get that all fixed up and the mirrored part of it is okay. But, it, you know, it's really got it going here. We got this, they call it a scorpion. I don't know. It looks like a two-headed dragon to me. Or, I don't know, or snake. And then we have this, uh, I guess, scorpion three, I guess, is the... the amphibious craft that is after this two-headed sea monster we'll call it we'll call it a sea monster because this is all supposed to be water down in here and I guess the scorpion is your amphibious craft we've got our guns guns shooting right at looks like missing <laughs> right at the sea serpent timer on he's in there pointing down in here somewhere okay I think the timer is uh, not sure but we'll find out when we read the rolls and all that at the end we got a 
got a long ways to go on this before we get any before we get even close to checking out everything else. You see we got a lot of a lot of maroon up through here. And we got quite a bit missing in the in the amphibious craft as well, but that blue looks pretty close. I don't see there's two two tones of blue down in here. Got the dark blue and then a light blue. So that'll be fun. But we're gonna attempt it. Hell, if we screw up, you'll never see the video anyway. <laughs> or if I end up finding one, uh, you'll never even know I did this video. Let me let me turn this over so you can take a look at the back. I'm going to have to stop it here for a minute while I flip this over. Okay, now you can see the extent of it. You know, there's a lot, lot missing and a lot going on on this back glass. It's not just a simple one. This is going to be a, a long time in the making if I do get it done. And you can see all this white that's actually where the light should shine through this. These dark areas with the gray are shielded from light. But this white is not. So it, that makes it even harder. But we're gonna we're gonna do what we can. I'm gonna work on it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to clean this all up. Uh, clean it up the best. I don't want to remove anything else that's uh, on here, but I do need to get it cleaned up. And then I'm going to spray it with uh, clear coat. Clear coat it to save what what's actually left. And then when we're done painting on it, then we can clear coat it and save it, or we can just leave it leave it the way it is. We'll decide when it when we get to that point. So that's what we're gonna get going today. Let me let me get this cleaned up and clear coated and then we'll decide what color we're gonna start. Okay folks, I clear coated the back of the back glass and I think the first color we're gonna do since I, I think I have one right out of the bottle that matches is we're gonna work on this brown a little lighter looks darker on the lid but it's a little bit lighter I've got some brown there and over in here I may darken this up a little bit this is a dark chocolate and man, that, I don't know that, it's a heck of a lot darker than dark chocolate Yeah, I'm going to have to darken it up a little bit. We'll, but uh, we have somewhere to start anyway. And while I'm waiting for that brown to dry, I may go ahead and work on a little bit of the black in some areas. Just because black is easy. It covers. Uh, I still have to put more than one coat on, but... You know, we can, we can get some of this black touched up anyway, and that would be another color out of the way as well. We've got, got a lot of colors. I did figure out what, what's down along the bottom here is, uh, I think that one's same player shoots again. And game match. And game over. So I don't know what we're going to be able to do down there. We'll see. But it'll... Uh, I still haven't heard anything from anybody. Everybody just keeps telling me to uh, order a repo that... with this company that, you know, I already know the company and I work with that company and uh, I could... Uh, I don't know. I just, I just hate waiting another 
three to four months for a back glass for this. So we're going to try and fix it. If it doesn't look like it's going to work out, then yes, we'll, we'll order one. You know, I'm, I'm still waiting on space-time back glass. But, got to do what you got to do, I guess. So let's do some brown. We'll start getting some of this brown painted in. And a little bit of the black. I'll work on a little bit of the black while I'm waiting for brown to dry so I can put more on it. But I'm going to start with this. I'll mix up and see what I can get darkening that up a little bit. And then I'll show you what color I do come up with. Okay, this is what I come up with for my brown. I just added a little black to it. It does kind of have a blackish tint to it. And what I do is I put my put a work light under the back glass. That way you can see. Here's where our where, whoop, where you at? Okay, here you are. Here's where our brown goes. Here and here we can work on that. As you can see, it lights it up. And I like I said, I clear coated the back of this. So, let's put some on it and let it dry and we'll take a look at it and see how close I am. Okay, I've been working on the red feverishly. <laughs> About eight or ten coats. I just started doing on the Williams. I worked in the Williams, kind of draw, draw it in my black. Did my black around the scores. I uh, did a little bit of brown here and over there. I'm not this brown. I don't. No, nope, that's yeah. That brown I don't like. This brown I do. I put the, this one on there and it was just too dark. I'll probably end up removing it and starting over there with the with the brown. And let's. And it turned up. And you can see it's it's gonna look splotchy. Scorpion, I get the Williams in. Uh, you can see the the brown is a lot better. Not quite as blotchy. But now uh I'm going to tackle this blue. I'm going to do some blue. You can see my red there that I had to put in. That doesn't look too awful bad. See, it doesn't look bad where the where the paint is missing. But when you paint over, if you get over onto the existing paint, then it starts looking blotchy. Dark spots. But, I don't know, I'm going to do some blue up and through here. And once I get that the blue done, I may do a little bit of white too, just to kind of fill in some of this. And then we'll put it in the machine with the lights behind it and see what it looks like. And then we'll decide what we're going to do. It's like you may not, you may never even see this video. I may just give up and, and order a glass and be done with it. So let's work on some blue and a little bit of white. And we'll go from there and see what it looks like. And see if we're even getting close to it going to look good. Like I said, once we get it, get some blue in it, and, and that, then we'll put it up in the machine and step back and take a look at it and see how bad it looks. Now our blue... Don't mind the reflection. <laughs> the blue, I have this sapphire blue. That, you, what, that is just a little bit darker, but not too, too much darker. I think that's what we're going to go ahead and we're just going to use it right out of the bottle. There is so much blue to work on. 
get the blue done and man a lot of this will be pretty much done it's just that the sea serpent here his head's going to be the one that's going to be really that's really going to look probably going to stick out like a sore you know what so let's do some blue and see what happens well as you can see I've been been filling in some colors we worked on the purple some red some black some orange green blue uh, I've been working on this and we'll get more of this filled in and it'll look all right for for what it is so let me continue to fill in some more colors uh, the next color I'm going to be working on oh let's see uh, probably the same colors I'm going to be working on I'm just going to be moving around and working on other ones this orange or kind of a it's kind of a brownish orange I'll be working on that one probably and get that one done up so we have a couple of spots up top here that that we can get done and it'll look look a little better up there and then we'll flip her around and start working on the bottom half of this as you can see I'm kind of working on the top half and then I'll, I'll flip it around and work on the bottom half uh, you get kind of uh, combobulated, discombobulated when you're trying to work on over, all over the whole thing so I, I just kind of split this in half and I'm working on the top half and then like I said I'll flip it around and then I'll work on that bottom half uh, we'll get it decent so it looks like looks at least decent so let's get busy filling in some more color now folks we're moving along on this back glass uh, as you can see I've got a lot of I've filled in a lot of paint and I started working around here along the bottom um, the first thing I, I wanted to tackle was I got our tilt in and then we got same player shoots again I put that in and here figured all these out we have match and this one here I have ball and play so I'm figuring this is going to be ball in play and then game over so I do have those all figured out and we'll get them all painted in I don't know how that's going to look, but we're doing it. Uh, a lot of blue missing. I'm going to work on a lot of blue down in here. And I figure once I get my my words put in down below here, then I can start working up on it more. You can see I got the highest score put in. And I know... Uh, it time and patience you better have some patience so we'll finish I'll get the get all this put in and then I'll come back and we'll I'll show you how that turned out and then we'll flip it over and take a look at everything and see how it's actually turning out now I got all my words in <laughs> all them letters but I'll tell you, talk about a lot of time putting them in. But I look at it now, and I probably should have done them in red. But I want them to stand out when the light's behind it. But this is what we've got so far. And see my red some of it it's kind of hard to tell where where I did it but you can see the big old scratch in the sea serpent and I started the blue 
started to blue on the bottom half down in here and we're just gonna keep on keeping on do some more blue and then we'll color color this all in in red and see how it looks it may turn out okay but I, I'm not very optimistic I'm just gonna keep keep plugging away at it and see what see what it looks like when we're done uh, like I said I'm still undecided whether I'm gonna just order put this one in when we're done and order a new back glass for it or not we'll see when this is all complete so let's do some more blue and some red and I still have some some purple to do up here so we'll get that all done well I got the back of it all touched up and you can see that I really had to work at this one and down below here what I'm doing is um, I painted in the letters uh, same player shoots again uh, uh, let's see uh, match and ball and play and game over I did them in dark red and then I coated the red again to give the back to give the front some red and then what I'm doing is I'm outlining all the letters in black so when the lights come on it'll just shine through the the letters and not not in here but hopefully it'll be red we can oh let me get my stool out of the way let me see if I can stand this up You can see some of the red's gonna is it wasn't dark enough, so the black's gonna show through a little bit. But it is what it is. I mean, this thing was a mess when I got it, and so far I think it's turning out pretty good. I think it's gonna look okay. So I'll keep working at it and we'll see what we come up with when we're done and we'll get her put in and see what it looks like hopefully it'll look okay like I said I mean there was a lot of paint missing off of this off the back of this and I just keep filling in keep filling in I mean it this is uh, about a about a week and a half worth of work because you can't just you know paint it on you have to put like three or four coats on it just to you know get it to cover enough that you don't really see all the brush marks but yet some light can still shine through but I'm pretty happy with it I think we're gonna be all right find out when we get it in and get it lit so let me get the bottom here finished up and then we can go ahead and get this put in and lit up and see what it looks like in the machine all right that that's as far as I'm gonna go with it I think it's time to put it in and see what it looks like and then if I need to I can pull it back out and do some more touch up on it but you can see what I did uh, I just blackened in around where the paint was missing around the letters so the light will shine through and not around the outside and I'll tell you what the hard, easiest part was putting in the letters hardest part is trying to outline them that was the hardest part so let's put it in and see what it looks like okay there it is in yeah, it's starting to look like a whole machine again. What do you think? How's it look? Oh, you want me to turn it on? You want me to turn that on so we can have some lights behind it? You think that would be better if I turned it on so we could see it? Alright. Let, let, 
let's turn it on. Oh, wow, what's that over there? Oh, that, a couple other machines over there. Yeah. Oh, there's that nice playing field. Boy, doesn't that look nice? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you want to see the back glass? I'll bet. Okay. There's the back glass. We got it all touched up. You know, it doesn't look... Looks decent. We'll put it that way. You know, there's our game over. It... It... You know, it, it, it's there. But, you know, you can see where I touched up our sea monster, you know, here and here. Uh, our scorpion. You know, there's a little bit up in here that you can see where it's been touched up. Uh, the purple wasn't quite the match I was hoping for. But all the blue was. I think the blue really come out nice down below. And ball and play. I don't know why that's on now. But it is. Uh, maybe that just stays on until you start a game. Who knows? But everything else looks pretty stinking good. I'm, I'm really happy with it. I think I think we're going to leave it the way it is. I don't think I'm going to have to order in a, a back glass unless somebody else wants to. I'm not I'm not worried about it. I think it looks good. For 40 years old, I'm uh, going to be 41 this year. I think it's going to it'll work out. But I'm sure there's going to be somebody out there that's uh, going to piss and moan about it and not like it. But, you know, haters will be haters. It is what it is. If you don't like it, don't look at it. You can look at the playing field. Don't look at the back glass then if you don't like it. If you don't like the back, if you don't like the playing field, what I did to the playing field, then, you know, screw you. But tell you what let's let's turn out this light that looks nice yeah I think it turned out excellent tell me what you think in the comments you think it turned out all right or do you think I screwed it up more than than what it is or what it was if you like the video, you like what I did with the back glass, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. And I'll bring you some more great pinball videos. And don't forget to ring the bell. You ring the bell and that gives you that you'll get notified of my new videos coming up. And if you haven't checked out the links down below, if you're gonna go to Amazon and buy something. Uh, just click on the link. It goes to a multimeter, but if as long as you're on my click and you buy something, uh, I get a small commission and it helps keep keep the channel going. And if you did have already, I really appreciate it. So until next time, see ya.